with the infrastructure of poverty in Richmond, these children, they're not all gonna be in the same place. They're not all gonna be at the homeless shelter. They're gonna be all around Richmond and we need to go where they are in order to serve them best. At Celebrate RVA, we aim to give disadvantaged children a memorable birthday celebration in a safe and fun environment. So many of our underprivileged children are so concerned with where their next meal is coming from, where they're going to sleep that evening, that just having an hour and a half of joy can be something that they remember and that they cherish. I was very privileged growing up. I went to the private all-girls school here in town. I grew up with a wonderful family. But I've always just had this huge passion for kids, and I just loved being around them and feeling their energy. I was tutoring these children and just asked a child, you know, how old are you? When is your birthday? What'd you do? And he just looked up at me and said, I think I was born when it was cold outside. And that was all he could tell me. It stunned me so much, you know, growing up, my birthdays were so special. It took me a while to understand how something that I had taken for granted for so long was something this child had never had. The first party um, was really kind of financed out of my pocket. Um, just went to the Dollar Tree, went to Target. We just kind of went in with a lot of confetti, a lot of balloons, a lot of cake, and it was immediate. Just the joy and love and happiness in that room, everyone could feel it. And I knew that this was not going to be the only birthday party. Pretty quickly, volunteers became donors because they saw the impact that they were making. Um, the community found out about us. Um, restaurants at first found out about us. We just slowly but surely started growing. Definitely the biggest hurdle that I faced was my age. Um, people saw me and thought that this was a nice little school project, that um, it was something nice for my college resume, and that was it. But on my 18th birthday, I actually spent it in my lawyer's office signing all the paperwork because it was my first legal signature. There are a lot of logistics that go into any birthday party when you're working with any children that aren't yours. You're making sure that we have all the same children at all the same time. A lot of counting, head counting goes into that. That is beautiful. Would you like to see? At the jail, birthday parties take on different themes, but they're all mothers and their children. And my time working in the jail has really been shaped by the fact that all of those inmates are just people. And when you talk to them and get to know them, they're human, just like us. So it's a very humbling experience to work in that space. It's somebody's birthday. Happy, happy birthday to you. For the past four years, I've been a volunteer executive director. Um, so next year, I will be fully funded in our budget, which is exciting. I'm at a point now where people say, okay, she's not doing this just for a school project anymore. She's really doing this because she loves it, because she's able to do it. Oh my God. <laughs>